we are having the classification of computers on the basis of type, on the basis of size, and on the basis of purpose. So we can see here the chart. On the basis of type of signal, we are having three kinds of computers: that is, analog computer, digital computer, and hybrid computer, in which we are having both analog and digital uh, signals. Now, on the basis of size, that is, physical size of the computer, uh, uh, we are having the four structure. Four uh, classification that is microcomputers, mini computers, mainframe computers, and supercomputers. And on the basis of purpose, we are having general purpose and special purpose. The general purpose, which are uh, which can be used by any common user at home, at office, but special purpose, they are only dedicated to a single task, the specific task. We will see in details from the next coming slides. So this is the number one classification that is classification on the basis of signal, the type of signal used. So one is analog computer, one is digital, one is hybrid. Analog computers, as the name is very different, but we all are familiar with these analog computers. You can see the diagrams here: speedometer in car or bike, or the watch that we all are using at our home are the examples of these analog computers only because they are also calculating something. They are calculating the speed. They are calculating the temperature. They are calculating the time. So these are also the analog computers. So why the name is given analog? Because the values which are calculated or values which are uh, measured are not static. They are always varying. You can see the speedometer of your bike. Uh, it you cannot have the exact same value at any point of time because as the speed is varying, the speedometer values are also getting varied. so we cannot have the fixed measurement here so the analog computers are the computers which are processing analog data and these analog data are always in continuous nature they are not discrete or they are not separate they are always in continuous form we cannot differentiate properly between the values okay so these quantities are continuous in nature and having infinite varieties of values the speedometer the motion you will give to your bike or your car your speed will get vary and which is not having any fixed limit okay so these analog values are infinite varieties of values okay so where we can find this kind of analog values so we can find this kind of analog values like temperature temperature or pressure or speed or weight or voltage or depth so these are the examples of analog values like temperature temperature is also not fixed right temperature is also getting varied even in one minute you can get the different temperature pressure is also varying the speed as we already discussed speed is also getting varied the weight weight is also uh, if you will measure your weight on one weight machine and another weight machine you will not get the exact same value right there will must be some slight of difference between the weights okay so these are the examples of analog data so these are in continuous and infinite nature so it measures the continuous changes in some physical quantity so it can be speed it can be time so they are always giving us a change in values change in speed change in time change in temperature change in pressure change in voltage like this but the values which are examined or which are measured they are not that much accurate that we will get in digital data as we can get the simple example here uh, as uh, i have given here one clock here so whenever we are uh, getting this kind of clock and whenever we are uh, asking for the time so you will not get the exact time here somebody will say it's 10.10 somebody will say it's 10.11 right so it will totally depend upon the person's measurement his judgment because here we are not getting the exact digital value we have to see the needle where it is pointing and accordingly people will give their judgment that it is 10.10 or it is 10.11 
so the values which are uh, measured by these analog computers they are not the that much accurate that we are getting in digital computer okay so these computers are ideal in the situations where data can be accepted directly from measuring instrument without having to convert into numbers or codes so if we are able to see the values or if uh, the values are useful as it is then only we can use this um, analog computers where we doesn't need to convert these into number form okay so these are the analog computers now the second classification is the second type according to signal is digital computers as the name itself suggests digital computers so these computers are giving the outputs in number form in digits form okay so they are working with the digits they are working with the numbers they are working with the letters or any other symbols okay so digital computers operate on inputs which are on off type and its output is also in the form of on and off type so these computers able to take only two values two binary values that is 1 and 0 for on value will be 1 for 0 value will be off okay so we can say that digital computers process information which is based on the presence and absence of electrical charge or we prefer to say binary 1 or 0 so here uh, we are representing the number 0 and 1 for the absence and presence of electrical voltage electrical charge so these computers are working on electrical pulses if we are passing the current electric current that means the number will be considered as 1 and if we are not passing any kind of current or pulse the number will be considered as zero okay so as these computers were only able to understand the language of zero and one that is presence of voltage and absence of voltage okay so digital computer can be used to process numeric as well as non numeric data so they can also process letters numbers even symbols okay so they can able to perform operations like addition subtraction multiplication and division and also logical operations like uh, comparison equal to not equal to x or x not these are the different kinds of operations okay so the most common example of digital computers are uh, your mobile phones the most common example is calculator that we all are using so the results of digital computers are more accurate than the results of analog computer as we already discussed in analog computers that they are not giving us a exact value right we have to see the position of needle and then we have to just predict the value by looking at the position of needle in analog meter analog computer that is not the case in digital computer in digital computer the output is directly given in the digit form like we can see here speedometer now a days all the bikes and cars are having the digital speedometer they are not having any needle which is moving all around nowadays we are having the speedometer in digital form they will exactly give you the speed in digit form okay so at any point of time so these are the digital computers which are more accurate than the analog computers okay so analog computers lack memory whereas digital computers stores information that is also one major difference between analog computer and digital computer analog computers are not able to store the data or the output but here in digital computer we can store the information okay so this is all about digital computer that we all are familiar with whatever computers we are using they are also digital computers now the third one type according to type of signal is hybrid computer as the name suggest hybrid means a combination of both digital and analog so hybrid com uh, com computer is a combination of digital and analog computers so they combine the best feature of both types of computers that is it has a speed of analog computer and the memory and accuracy of digital computer 
as analog computers are faster than the digital computer but digital computers are more accurate and they are having the memory capacity to store the data so hybrid are using the both features speed of computing and plus storing power and accuracy of calculation okay so hybrid computers are used mainly in specialized applications where both kinds of data need to be processed so they help the user to process both continuous and discrete data okay so for example you can see the example here petrol pump contains a processor that converts fuel flow measurements into quantity sorry and price values so we all have seen uh, the petrol pump so in petrol pump machine they are also measuring the fuel measurements flow measurements how much petrol is uh, coming and accordingly they are also calculating the price values so it's a combination of analog and digital computers they are measuring the flow of petrol and plus they are calculating the price according to that flow of petrol okay so just like that in hospitals we are having uh, an analog device which is used to measure patient's blood pressure and temperature etc which are then converted and displayed in the form of digits because whenever doctors are taking decision they need values okay so they cannot work on analog data they need accurate values to take the decisions regarding the health position of the patient so they will use analog computers for the measurements of uh, pressure for the measurements of temperature because it is analog value so we require analog computer to measure the temperature and pressure but for taking the exact decision about the patient's health these uh, measurements are converted into number form okay and these hybrid computers for example are used for scientific calculations in defense and radar systems okay and now a most simple example you can see here i have shown some pictures here so here you can see this both are the very accurate examples of uh, analog computers here you can see i'm just showing you so here you can see in this speedometer now in the speedometer the needle is also used to point out which is pointing out the speed which is moving and plus the same figure is shown in this digit form also because using needle we are not getting the exact figure somebody will say 122 somebody will say 124 somebody will say 126 but this this needle position is converted into digit form and it is also displayed here 125 okay so nobody will get confused by looking at this needle that how much exactly the speed okay so this is a hybrid computer the same example is here also here this is a hybrid watch we can say so here the sorry the here the timing is given in this needle form that is analog form but at the same time here we are having the temperature in digit form so this is also one kind of hybrid a watch or hybrid kind of computer which is giving us a two uh, data one in analog form one in digital form so this is all about the hybrid computers thank you